I'm gonna go straight into um, cleansing your spaces. Think about cleansing your house, cleansing your office. Uh, space where you uh, spend your whole day um, because we live in a spiritual world. Take note of this. When John the Baptist was given, um, was given a mission to prepare way for Christ, he came baptizing people. Why baptism? The preparation was about cleansing. Cleansing results to um, spiritual cleanliness that is um, compatible with the being um, with, this, with the kingdom of God, for it's written that the kingdom of God is righteousness. The kingdom of God um, is, um, is truth. Uh, according to what um, the, the Lord taught me, what you're supposed to do um, especially in this season, is live right, live godly, live goodly, and live truth. So the cleansing power of water um, is spiritual. And today, I'm going to switch it to another level. I'm going to teach you how to cleanse your um, the places where you live, especially your houses. From personal, personal experience, I've moved around uh, quite often because... Uh, of unavoidable circumstances. Sometimes maybe avoidable. And one thing that I've learned about moving around is that many times we move into spaces that are already occupied uh, spiritually. And if you do not do anything about it, you will, um, you will have uh, spiritual um, presence that um, it may not uh, be immediately uh, visible in its effect to, to your life, but it may be a... a um, a kind of a spiritual blockage that will not allow the free flow of some levels of um, the power of God around you. So today, um, I want to uh, share something that has worked uh, for me. One of the things I do, um, I do everything that can work. So this is one, and I found it quite powerful. So, remember that water, uh, there's a reason why uh, the, the priests in the temple cleansed themselves with water before going into the presence of God. It has a symbolic effect. The Bible says that water testifies um, to God. It testifies about God. Water and the Spirit testifies about God. So today, we're going to use water and we're not going to use um, physical water. Have you ever uh, seen a spring, a clear 
a pristine spring, spring of water, or a clear, pristine um, ocean where uh, you'll find these are usually the most heavily populated with all kinds of colorful fish and wildlife. Now, I want, to, I want you to see that uh, clean, pristine water in your mind or in your imagination. Now, I want you to imagine that the space where you live or where um, your house is um, is in the midst of clean, pristine body of water. Imagine that um, instead of this air, this clean, pristine water just around you, surrounding you. Clean and pristine. Now, as you imagine that, I want you to imagine that water moving into every part, every part of the wall of your house, every nook and cranny. Let it move through it and as it does that every spiritual and cleanliness dissipates disappears is swallowed up by the power by the cleansing power of the water let the water cleanse you too let it cleanse the entire house And as you breathe out of yourself, let every uncleanliness that may be expelled by this water come out of you. Now there, as I was saying this, I felt the power of God so I believe that somebody uh, who is under the influence of my voice has put this into practice. And they've, um, they've experienced the cleansing power of God.